Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to start up function notation. Um, so yeah, this is really going to really just be a lot of practice of uh, order of operations more or less because we're taking a value, we're, we're plugging into a function, we're seeing what we get. So here we have g of x as our function. So we're plugging in negative 5 for x. So this is our input. This is our independent variable, okay, negative 5. We're going to plug it into the g function and see what we get. Okay, so g of x. So g of negative 5. So g of negative 5 equals, and wherever we see an x, we're going to plug this value in. So negative 5 in parentheses squared plus 1. It's important that negative 5 is in parentheses because if we didn't, it actually would be a different value when squaring it. So we're going to do the exponent first. We're going to square this. So negative 5 times itself is 25 positive plus 1, which is 26. So g of negative 5 is 26. So negative 5 was our input and 26 was our output. So if we were to write this as an ordered pair, it would actually be negative 5 comma 26. All right, let's try this one out. Um, g of negative 9. So g of negative 9 equals negative 4 parentheses negative 9 plus 3. So we're going to multiply first. So And we don't, nothing happens over here. This just stays the way it is. Think of this as a label. This isn't g times negative 9. This is function notation, which is very different from, um, you know, this, there's no coefficient variable over on this side. So we're going to multiply first. So negative 4 times negative 9 is positive 36, and plus 3 is 39. So g of negative 9 is positive 39. Okay. Again, our input, our output. Okay, f of 10. So f of 10, so 4 times 10 plus 2. We're going to multiply first. So, And I should probably write that down here. Uh, P, E... Then multiplication division is a single step from left to right, as is addition subtraction. Okay, we're going to multiply here. So 4 times 10 is 40, plus 2 is 42. So f of 10 equals 42. Okay. And here, p of x, p of 2. So p of 2 equals 2 plus 1, and p of 2 is going to equal 3. Okay. Uh, w of negative 8, so n is going to be replaced by negative 8, and that's going to be 4 times negative 8 minus 2, 4 times negative 8 is negative 32, minus 2 is negative 34. So w of negative 8 equals negative 34. Our input is negative 8, our output is negative 34. Okay, so h of negative 2. So we're going to have negative 2, parentheses, negative 2 squared, plus 3, plus negative 2. So be careful with all of this. This is a little more complicated. So we have to do the exponent first. So negative 2 squared is 4. So negative 2, 4, plus 3. I'm going to just change this to negative 2, minus 2 rather. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, plus 3, minus 2. Negative 8 plus 3 is going to be negative 5. And negative 5 minus 2 is going to be negative 7. So h of negative 2 is negative 7. Here, k of x, x is going to be 4, so we're plugging in 4. So 4 squared minus 4. 4 squared is 16. Take away 4 is 12. So k of 4 is 12. <clears throat> and then p of negative 9, so negative 9 squared plus 1, negative 9 squared is 81 positive, plus 1 is 2, 82. So p of negative 9. Okay, h of negative 7, negative 7 squared minus 3, negative 7, negative 7 squared is going to be 49, minus 3 times negative 7, negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21. 49 plus 21 is going to be 70, I think. Yeah. H of negative 7 equals 70. Let me know if I made a mistake, by the way, in the comments here, guys. Uh, H of 5. So H of 5 equals 5 cubed plus 2 times 5. So 5 cubed. Let's see, that's going to be 125 plus 2 times 5. To be 10, so 125 plus 10, 135. 
each of five equals 135. Our input is five, our output is 135. Okay. Ooh, there's some absolute value. Here we go. Okay, k of negative five. So k of negative five equals two parentheses, not parentheses, sorry, absolute value of negative five minus one is two. So negative five minus one is negative six. So two, absolute value of negative six, two, and then absolute value of negative six is positive six. So two times six, and two times six is 12, <clears throat> minus two is 10. So k of negative five is 10. Um, I'm going to do the odds on this side just because I'm going to run out of time. If I have time, I'll finish it though. So, ooh, we have an exponent that's a variable. Interesting. So, g of x, so g of negative 2. So, oh my, <laughs> this is a mean one. So, 4 to the negative 2 power. When you have something with a negative 2 power or a negative power, you want to change where it is. So, this is in the numerator. We're going to put this in the denominator. So, this is actually going to become 1 over 4 squared. So, I won't be surprised if that really confuses people. Uh, 4 squared is 16, so g of negative 2 is going to equal 1 over 16. Think of this as 4 over 1, so you place it in the opposite space. So it's in the numerator, it becomes a it goes in the denominator to make that positive. Um, yeah. I want to do the rest of these, hopefully I have time. Uh, so k of negative 10 equals absolute value of 2 times negative 10. Sorry, negative 10. Uh, minus 2. 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. Absolute value minus 2. Absolute value of negative 20 is going to be positive 20. Minus 2, which is 18. So k of negative 10 equals 18. And then here we have p of 1. So absolute value of negative 3 times 1 plus 3. Close absolute value plus 3. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Plus 3, absolute value... Uh, that's going to be 0, and the absolute value is 0, 0. And 0 plus 3 is 3. So p of 1 is 3. Number 19. I think I can do x. I I think I'll have time. p of 8 equals 8 squared plus 5. 8 squared is 64. Plus 5 is 69. So p of 8 is 69. Okay. h of negative 3. So h of negative 3... Uh, 2 parentheses negative 3 squared plus 4 minus plug in negative 3. So be careful here when you plug in the negative. It's already negative in front of it. So negative 3 squared is going to be positive 9. So 2 times 9 plus 4. We're going to change this to positive. So 4 plus 3. 2 times 9 is 18. Plus 4 plus 3. Plus 4 is going to be 22. Plus 3 is 25. So h of negative 3 is positive 25. h of 0. So h of 0 to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is equal to one. So h of zero is equal to one. Okay. P of negative one. And absolute value of negative one. Well, the absolute value of anything is going to be the distance from zero. So this is one away from zero. So P of negative one is one. K of x, K of four. So absolute value of four plus one. Absolute value of 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5. K of 4 is 5. Oh, I'm totally off camera here, sorry. Last one, h of negative 6. So, negative 6 to the second power, plus 1, that's going to be 36, positive. Plus 1 is 37. h of negative 6. Alright, so that's function notation. Uh, this is another one I'm probably going to do, if I have time. Hopefully that answers questions you may have. Let me know if there's any confusion. Thanks, guys.